Hi again guys and welcome to another Horizon 3 speed build and this time it's for one of the quickest cars in the game in a straight line but also one of the best cars in the game in terms of value for money because this car is so much cheaper than many of the other supercars and hypercars that you can get. Of course the car is the Ultima GTR. There are a couple of versions of this, there's also a DLC version which has more power to begin with but this one is the normal version non-DLC, it's already on the game, so anyone can access it. Now as far as the upgrades on this particular car, if you're familiar with my tunes, then some things go without saying. Of course you want to upgrade the power fully, get the best engine conversion option, lower the weight, increase the grip, all that kind of stuff. I would recommend the V10 conversion, as far as the drivetrain, I would always recommend all-wheel drive if you have the option. For high speed handling, rear wheel drive can certainly be better, but for lower speeds, especially getting off the line quickest in online races, doing off-roading of course, for all of those advantages and situations associated with an open world game, I would recommend the advantages of all wheel drive. So unless you're opposed to it specifically, I would recommend that. Of course you want to convert it to the twin turbo, as far as the wings, as you can see, I've opted to remove the wing from mine, but you don't have to do that. And then as far as the tuning, which of course is the way to unlock all the potential of that massive power, as you can see, the numbers are good. 0 to 100 in particular is very impressive, a fraction over 3.5, 1.7 to 60, and 273 flat out. That's pretty impressive performance given that it's a 150 grand car. That's a massive saving, sometimes literally 10 times cheaper, or even more, than some of the other supercars in the game. Now, as far as the gearbox, I would recommend a final drive of 2.85, then individual gears of 3.1, 1.95, 1.45, 1.15, 0.95, and 0 0.80. As far as alignment, if you're familiar with my tunes, again, then you'll know to some degree what I like to do. I leave my alignment fairly neutral, neutral camber, neutral toe, especially with an all-wheel drive car. If you want some of those to adjust it, for instance, then feel free to do so. I just personally don't feel the need for it. As far as caster, we've got that on one degree to increase maneuverability. Anti-roll, I've just rounded off to 22 and 27. Springs to 103 and the ride height as low as possible. Dampers we've got on 8, 13, and then 5. Aero doesn't apply, of course, unless you have a wing. And for the diff, we've got 100% on acceleration, 0 on decel, and for this particular car at least, a 75% split in favour of the rear. So overall, if you want this tune and just want to get it on the car without doing anything yourself, you can, as with all of my builds, find it on my storefront. So if you check out the video description below, you can see the keywords to find it quickly. Or, if you'd rather do some variation of this tune, then obviously either way, I hope you have a lot of fun with it, and of course, win races. But that's it overall for this build, of course you could sub down below to see more as soon as they're released. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.